Hey there, Life Group Leaders. It's Pastor Kevin here. Uh, first off, I just want to thank all of you again for the leadership that you provide for your group. I know it makes a huge difference in people's lives. Um, been gr getting great feedback on this series, What Would Jesus Undo? So I really hope that you've been having some great conversations in your life groups. Um, you know what? And we would love to hear those stories. If there are some really great conversations happening, some, some transformation happening in people's lives, please send those stories to your coach. We would love to hear about those stories so we can be praying um, for the teams and just really excited for all that God is doing uh, in our church family as we go through this series together. This week... Um, if you're going through the study questions that we've provided, I uh, just want to let you know that I emailed everyone earlier um, that there's a bit of a mix-up. Uh, when I originally put the series together, I had the topic of greed uh, hitting on this Sunday, and then I realized it was Thanksgiving and didn't really think it'd be a good idea to be talking about greed as we're all pigging out on our Thanksgiving dinners. So I switched the topics around and just forgot to update the sheet. So this week is actually on spiritual pride. We're going to be talking about spiritual pride in our groups this week. And this might be an interesting topic to go through because I think fundamentally uh, spiritual pride is not an issue that we see at play uh, in our Canadian context. You know, sure, it can be there and sometimes we, you know, it can creep into our hearts and we're going to explore that. But I think we have a different kind of spiritual pride that kicks in. And it's the pride in our sin. It's this, this humility that we develop and say, well, you know, my church could never see a lot of people accept Christ because who are we to, to assume that? Or I could never be used by God in a significant way. So we, we lower the bar, we settle for less in our faith. Well, honestly, that's just another form of pride. Think about it. What you're saying is, well, your sin or, or your church is too mediocre for God to do something amazing. That's just a different form of pride. It's us, again, putting the emphasis on ourselves and not on the greatness of God and how holy and majestic and powerful he is. So as you're going through this week in your group, you know, the, uh, the questions may not lead you that way, but I'm going to go that way in the sermon. So that just wanted to help prepare you for that. Um, so it could be a good way to look at. So maybe no one's all puffed up thinking that they're all religious and they know their Bible better than everybody like that. But you can challenge your group and get your group thinking, well, what about being used by God? You know, do you actually limit God in what he would want to do in you and through you? You make excuses for God. That's just another form of pride. That God isn't good enough. That I'm going to fill myself with self-doubt. I'm going to fill myself with worry. I'm going to fill myself with sin. Instead of being completely filled by the power of God. So I hope you have an amazing group this week. Again, please uh, send stories to your coaches. Know that the coaches are praying for you and they're always here for you. And uh, again, I'm just so excited in how you are just such an important part in us leading people in knowing, living, and sharing Jesus. So thank you so much for all you do, and we will talk to you soon. God bless.